Hello, my dear students. In previous class, I have discussed the definition of relation and their number of relation. Now, I will discuss the domain, range, and codomain of relation. Domain, range, and codomain. of relation domain range and codomain of relation now if i give you one example or if i take one example say r equals to in relation x comma y such that x plus y equals to 5 where x comma y belongs to whole number less than 5. This is set builder form. R is equals to xy such that x plus y equals to 5. x comma y belongs to w. w means whole number less than 5. Then what are the values of x? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because it is whole number less than 5. Therefore, the values of x is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In same way, y equals to how much? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because y is also belongs to whole number and less than 5. Now, the relation r is equals to given what is the relation? The sum of x plus y is equals to 5. x plus y equals to 5. Then r is equals to how much? You will take the values from x and the values from y whose sum equals to 5. You see that 0 plus the maximum value of y is 4. So 0 plus 4 is equals to 4. But it is not equal to 5. So you cannot take this relation. If I take 1, then 1 comma 4, if I take, you see that 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. Then another, you can take 2 plus 3 equals to how much? 5. So it is 2 comma 3. Then 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. Or you can take 4 plus 1 is equals to 5. So, this is the relation whose sum is equals to 5. Using this relation, you will write the relation. These are the elements of the relation. So, what is domain? In set theory or in mapping, you have got what is domain? The domain is written as DOMR. That is domain R is equals to the first element of each order pair is the domain. First element of each order pair is the domain. So you can write the set of all element. The set of all first element of each order pair. Of each order pair. This is the domain. The domain are here it is. You see that from this relation, 1 is the first element for this order pair, 2 is the first element, 3 is the first element, 4 is the first element. So domain R is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the domain R, the set of all first element of each order pair is the domain. Next, range. Range R is equals to same the same of set of all second element of each order pair. The set of all second element of each order pair. 
that is 4, 3, 2, and 1. So you can write it. The range R is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. In arranging also you can write it. 4, 3, 2, 1. Or you can write it 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the range R. Now the codomain. The codomain is the set B. It is second element. That is this one. Is the codomain. The, all elements of the set B is called the codomain. These things, if I show in diagrammically, so this is the value of x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the value of y, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You see that the relation is given 1, 4, there it is 5, 2, 3, there it is 5, 3, 2, there it is 5, 4, 1, then it is 5. So these values, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the domain and this 1, 2, 3, 4 is the range and this set B, whole set is the codomain. Is it clear? This is the range, domain and codomain of the relation. Now, inverse relation. Inverse relation. Inverse relation, say, if R is the relation, if R is the relation given, R is equals to AB, such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B. It's inverse. Inverse means opposite. It's inverse. R inverse, you will write. That is interchanging the first value into second and second value into the first. That is B comma A comma B belongs to B and A belongs to A. So if I give example, this is called inverse relation. If I give one example, say R is equals to any relation from A to B, any set A to B, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3. Its inverse how much? This is the notation, R inverse. R inverse is equals to how much? 2, 1. Interchanging the order pair. 2, 1, then 4, 3, then 3, 1. This is R inverse. Clear? So domain range and codomain we have got now inverse relation is it clear now i will discuss the very important thing the types of relation Types of relation. The first one, empty relation or void relation. Empty relation or void relation. The empty relation or void relation, it is written as, say R is the relation, in this way also you can write, or one symbol, it is phi. This one already you have written in null set. This is called empty relation. Empty relation means there is no element. There is no order pair. Empty relation means there is no order pair in across B if the two sets A and B. That is the relation. What is empty relation? The relation does not have any ordered pair. The relation does not have any ordered pair. This is called empty relation. Say one as for example, one example if I take say A equals to 1, 2, 3. 
B equals to say 4, 5. These are two non empty sets. Now, the relation is say A, R, B. It is given x, y such that x equal to y. x belongs to A and y belongs to B. This is set builder form. In tabular form, what we will write? What is R? The A related to B, that is A from A and B from, you will take B. Here it is given xy order for, xy order pair for, the x equals to y. This is the relation, x equal to y. That is x belongs to A and y belongs to B. Now, if I take x is equals to 1, say, so 1 is equals to 1. Here you see that there is no 1 in set B. So, you cannot write any relation. If I take 2, there is no element 2. If I take 3, there is no element 3. That is, R is equals to null set. That is, there is no element. So, this type of relation is called the empty relation or void relation. Next, universal relation. universal relation. What is universal relation? You have got the universal set, say, all every natural number, set of natural number is an universal relation, set of integers is an universal set, like that. The what is universal relation? Say, A equals to 1, 2, 3, same set I will take B equals to 4, 5. Now, what is A cross B? A cross B means 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 3, 5. This is A cross B. Now, what is relation? The subset of A cross B. If I take this equals to R, say, this is the relation. All ordered pairs from A cross B. This is called the universal relation. All possible ordered pair of Cartesian product. That is, what is universal relation? All possible. all possible ordered pair of Cartesian product. All possible ordered pair of Cartesian product is called the universal relation. Now, we have got this one, the Void relation and universal relation. In these two relation, if any two non-empty sets is given, say A and B, two non-empty set given, the what is the smallest relation? The smaller relation, void relation, or empty relation is the smaller relation or smallest relation, and what is the largest relation? Universal relation is the largest relation. Three important things. Note down this one. The void relation and universal relation of set of set A to B. respectively the smallest and
largest relation of set A. Clear? That is the void relation and universal relation of set A to B are the respectively the smallest and largest relation of the set A to B. This is the universal relation. Now, third one. Identity relation. Now, third one is the identity relation. What is identity relation? Say, so if R is equals to AB such that A belongs to A comma B belongs to A and A equal to B. If R is equals to AB such that A comma B belongs to A and A equal to B. This is called an identity relation. That is every element related to that element only. Every element related to that element only. It is denoted by I A. If any set A, non empty set given A, it is denoted by I A. Say as for example, A equals to 1, 2, 3. Now, from across A, from across A, if I write the two relation, number 1, say R1 is equals to, if I write one relation, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. And here, R2 is equals to, if I write, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. I have written, what is identity relation? A comma B, A B belongs to A, A equal to B. A and B are must equal. But here you see that, from across A, if we write the two relation, R1 and R2, R1 equals to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. Can I write this one? Now you see that in these places, 1, 2, 1 is not equal to 2. I have written A equals to B, that is 1 equals to 2. Here you see that 1 equal to 1, 2 equal to 2, 3 equal to 3, but here 1 not equal to 2. So, for this reason, it is not an identity relation. In relation 2, you see that 1 equal to 1, 2 equal to 2, 3 equal to 3. Every element is related to that element or same element. So, it is an identity relation. Now, if I take another one example, say R3 is equals to 1, 1 and 2, 2. In this place, is it an identity relation? No. Because 3 is the element, belongs to A, it has no identity relation. 3 is the element, belongs to A, so it is no identity relation in R3, so it is not a identity relation. So in this way, using examples, you will see the identity relation. This is the third one. Next, reflexive relation. Next one is the reflexive relation. 
in reflexive relation say if i take capital a is the non empty sets and a belongs to a a belongs to a then for all a belongs to a r is equals to a comma a such that a belongs to a this is called the reflexive relation is every element of a belongs to a that is this element related to that element that is like as identity relation like as identity relation but here it is one thing is there r can contain r can contain other elements as well this is the difference between the identity relation and reflexive relation there is a comma a such that a belongs to a then r can contain other elements as well say using previous example a equals to 1 2 and 3 then if i write three relation r2 and r3 if r1 is equals to 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 only this one r1 relation and r2 is equals to if i write 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 2 3 and here 1 1 2 2 3 2 now if i take these three relation from across a then r1 you see that 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 there is one related to one two related to two and three related to three you see that this is an identity relation of set a because every element of a is related to that element only and what is reflexive relation every element a comma a same that is a belongs to a this is also a reflexive relation this is identity relation as well as reflexive relation but in second case you see that 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 2 3 1 extra element are there what are pairs are there 2 comma 3 is it a identity relation no because in place of identity relation there is no extra element except the element of a that is 1 related to 1 2 related to 2 3 related to 3 then 2 3 it is the extra element because 2 not equal to 3 so it is not a identity relation but in place of reflexive relation i have told that the r can contain other elements as well extra element if it is there there is no problem so it is reflexive but the third one there is relation 3 you see that 1 1 2 2 and 3 3, three 2 3 is the element belongs to a but 3 comma 3 is not belongs to r3 3 comma 3 is not belongs to r3 for this reason it is neither identity relation nor reflexive relation so this is the basic difference reflexive and identity relation and from this one thing you can tell every identity relation is a reflexive relation or every reflexive relation may not be a identity relation next one symmetric relation symmetric relation a relation r 
on a set A, is said to be reflexive relation is said to be symmetric relation if and only if a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a belongs to R for all A comma B belongs to A. Say as for example A equals to 1, 2 and 3 same example R1 is equals to if I write 1, 1 1, 2 2, 1 2, 3 and 3, 2. And same R2 if I write 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 3. What is symmetric? If I take, as for example, if I take one mirror here, if I write P in the mirror, you will say, C, Q, just opposite version, opposite direction. A relation R on set A is said to be symmetric relation if and only if A comma B, that is A, B order pair belongs to R, implies B A belongs to R, for all A, B comma A are opposite. A related to B, then you will show it B is also related to A, then it is symmetric relation. As for example, A equals to 1, 2, 3. Now, if I write two, exam, two relations from across A, R1 is equals to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. You see that 1, 1, it's opposite how much? If I interchange this value, 1, 1, it is there. If I interchange 1, 2, 2, 1, you see that 1, 2, its interchange 2, 1, 2, 3, its interchange 3, 2, it is there. So it is symmetric relation. But in second case, second relation you see that 2, 2. If I interchange this, these are same 2, 3. If I interchange this, 3, 2. 2, 3, if I interchange this, then 3, 2. It is not belongs to R3. It is it not belongs to R2. It is not in the relation 2. But 3, 1, it's opposite 1, 3. It is there. So 3, 2 is not belongs to R2. So it is not symmetric. The symmetric relation means its opposites are there. So it is not symmetric. In this case, what is the main theme of symmetric relation? That is, R equals to R inverse. Its inverse is also there. Say, 1, 1 is order pair in relation. Its inverse how much? 1, 1. It is there. 1, 2, its inverse how much? 2, 1. It is there. 2, 3, its inverse how much? 3, 2. It is there. So it is symmetric. If R not equals to R inverse, so it is not symmetric. You see that three, 2, 3, its Inverse how much? 3, 2. What belongs to R2? So it is not symmetry. Next one, transitive. What is transitive relation? Say, R equals to, if I write AB, comma BC, and R is equals to, if I write BC, that is, first case, A related to B, and B related to C, 
implies A related to C. A related to B, B related to C, then A related to C. This is called transitive relation. Second one, if the relation is given say R is equals to AB, there is ARB given and BRC given. But ARC not given and not equal to related to C, then it is not a transitive relation. And third one, if AR be given, it is transitive. So this is the definition of transitive relation. If A related to B and B related to C, then A related to C. And here, if A or B, A related to B only given, this is also a transitive relation. So if I give one example, say, A equals to 1, 2, 3, 1 example, say R1 is equals to, if I write, from across a 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 1 comma 3 and say 1 comma 1. This is the relation given. You see that 1, 2, 2, 3. So 1, 3 is the element. A and B are equal. I have written this one. A related to B, B related to C. There is this, these are equal. So A is also related to C. Here you see that A is also related to C. There is 1, 3 is there. So it is transitive relation. So this is the definition of transitive relation and I have discussed the types of relation. So in the next classes, I will discuss its application and other things. Thanks to all.